They were, it was effectively an illusion act that took the world by storm in the, 18, the late 1800s, early 1900s, um, that used um, magic and psychology in the way that we see Darren Brown using it now to convince audiences that spirits were manifesting in the space. In those days, spiritualism and science were not felt to be completely incompatible in the way they are now. So that spiritualism was, in a way, a kind of scientific way of looking at the afterlife. Um, so this was, uh, and that's what the Davenports did. And so they were a big hit, and uh, the, the play is kind of made from them and other spiritualist entertainer families. One of my favourite anecdotes, which isn't in the script, is a story of their tour manager no, yeah. <laughs> being beaten up in the middle of the night in his hotel room and having the takings of the show taken from him by the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> I think that gives you a pretty good insight into the type of people he was touring He was sharing with. a room with the brothers. Yeah. <laughs> what was fascinating about the Davenports, I think, is that underneath their showbiz or their spiritual um, veneer, there was obviously an undercurrent of violence. There was an undercurrent of pain. And that really became the place to start exploring. The thing that we as a trio really got excited about was um, some newspaper reports and some of the evidence in some of the biographies about um, how members of the audience who were involved um, in, in experiencing the seance when the lights went down would often be injured so you, the lights <laughs> no the, this was a big the, the, the lights would come back up and you know somebody's nose might have been broken mm. or the lip might have been uh, bust and they're, they're bleeding and so we kind of sat and thought right okay what backstory, because there wasn't very much information about them yeah. that we could find, what backstory could we give these brothers that would lead them into being the kind of people that would do that on stage? It's, it's started with you know, the, 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 the kernel of the true um, story, but we have heavily, heavily, heavily fictionalized um, their, backstory. their backstory in particular. But we've also, as Peter was saying, drawn hugely, not just on the Davenports, but on a whole range of anecdotes of um, spiritualist acts, mm -hmm. magic acts of the time, um, things that went wrong, things that went right, things that were cruel, um, things that were wondrous, and all of these have fed into what we're now calling the infamous brothers Davenport. Our process is collaborative. Up until working with Peter, we've always written together, directed together, and so suddenly having this third party, Peter's been incredibly generous, I think, in coming into that quite uncompromising <laughs> <laughs> um, circle of, of, of creativity. And it's true um, that we are painstaking in our process of putting a piece together, and I think mm -hmm. the guys feel that in the rehearsal room, beat by beat, putting this thing um, together and ma making a show that the audience feels every moment of it. We've got, um, I think it's 52 people who have um, signed secrecy clauses um, because just about every scene has something in it that has come from um, either the spiritualist world or the magic world. It, it, there's, there's, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil the surprise for people, but there are um, elements within other um, areas of the show that are magical um, and so we're doing our absolute utmost not to let the word get out how these things are done and what they are before people come to see the show and actually we're going to ask people as well who do come and see the show uh, not to tell people what the effects are before they happen because there's nothing worse than knowing before you come in. The thing that's really lovely about this is that this, this is a touring show but we couldn't imagine making it for any other theatre. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely the right show from our company for this theatre at this stage. It's, it's just worked out really well. In fact, that was a huge turning point for us in, yeah, ima in imagining this project. When we first met with Mark mm -hmm. to discuss it, um, the project had quite a different life because it it was at its very early stages. And suddenly envisaging it in this beautiful Victorian theatre, this kind of thrilling Victorian experience, all the pieces started to, yeah. mm. to fall into place. And the other aspect of it being a, a beautiful Victorian theatre is that, and this being a, a play about Victorian theatre, mm -hmm. is that the whole building becomes involved, not just mm -hmm. in, the, in making the production, but on the night. 
so that the, it's the, 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 when the audience come in, they're coming into a whole world of which the stage is only one part. We want to make a piece of theatre that audiences will enjoy, that is exciting and exhilarating, but particularly with this one, um, that is meaty. It's, it's this, this storyline um, we've worked on for a long time and we've, we're really proud of it, I think. Mm, we really hope that um, it's a, a touching and moving story about two brothers who are struggling um, to cope with horrendous circumstance and it's only their imagination and their creativity yeah. that, that saves them from what is a horrific background. The audience will, will go through a real journey with them um, and an understandable journey and a, a journey that's, although it's a world of magic, the story is absolutely real.